Russia has ordered a halt to all its military actions in Georgia and endorsed a proposal calling for both Russian and Georgian troops to move back to their initial positions. The call comes five days after Moscow launched waves of air and land attacks into disputed regions, as well as deep into Georgia that left the country smoldering and its citizens in hiding. We need peace and we need to be free, independent, and uh, we deserve this freedom. Tuesday, Russian President Dmitry Medvedev told a national audience that Georgia has been punished enough for its attack on South Ossetia. He's also in talks with French President Nikolai Sarkozy about how to handle the region. Still, the fighting continues, and troops were spotted taking down a Georgian flag in Abkhazia. And Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice says nothing can be accomplished until the violence stops. The Russians need to uh, stop their military operations, as they have apparently said that they will. But those military operations really do now need to stop because uh, calm needs to be restored. Analysts say the region is certain to look different once the dust settles and that Russia has already accomplished its goals. Uh, they would be looking for a new status quo uh, by which they may not have been successful in overthrowing the government in Georgia, but they are able to, but a situation in which they're able to entrench their presence in these separatist region, regions for some time to come. More Russian troops have been seen on the move in Georgia, and Georgia's president told an enthusiastic rally in Tbilisi that Moscow is bent on destroying his country. Meantime, residents hunkered down in basements of buildings and packed airports trying to flee the violence. It's not clear how many soldiers and civilians have been killed in the fighting, but the number is thought to be in the thousands. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.